Hey everybody, we're getting ready to start a video that I never thought I'd be making. We're going to be putting up a bear fence for our beehives. I talked to the um, Virginia Game and Inland Fisheries and they gave me some information on the power and having solar and things like that. So um, stay tuned, we're going to be putting up a fence. Uh, as you can see, this is what I've got. Foundation's still good. Frame's busted, um, but I believe I can pull it apart or fix it and repair it. I left these feeder cans out. Um, these were just had the sugar water. And you can kind of see we got some teeth or paw marks or something. And these are the pretty thick cans. So bear's still been out there. I found some, uh, some more droppings. So we know that he, she is still visiting. Uh, we're going to set the fence up. You put a little bacon on them to train it to make sure that they know where it is and you know, they get zapped a couple times to learn not to come around. Kind of hurts my heart to use perfectly good bacon, um, but uh, we should share with everybody, right? So uh, we're going to feed the bear some bacon, going to build a fence, get the world headquarters of G's Bees back up and running. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we're now putting our bear fence in. So here are the clips on the pole. They only go one way, so I want my wire to go on the inside so before I, I nail them down or, or hammer them down I'm gonna make sure my clips in the right direction what I did is on my my string here I just stretched the string I marked it every eight feet with a little piece of electrical tape I'm gonna go in and drive the post in I'm gonna do one uh, straight line first square it up in the back and go from there so it's pretty simple biggest thing is make sure your your clips are, are in the right way so you can set your post Hey everybody, it's Mark. I'm going to give you guys an update on the fence that I'm building to keep the bears out. So it is pretty much for all intents and purposes completed. The Energizer, it's a Parmark Solar Pack 6. It's wired up there. Obviously it's not mounted. I wanted to make sure everything's going to work before I mount it on the pole. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. We've got a little carpenter bee there. So he's made a home. So uh, the bee gods are still with us. I want to give you guys an update. Um, We've got some briars growing up in here, so I want to clear this out, uh, make sure it's all good and ready to go, get some roofing paper down, get the hive stand set back up, and we're going to be back in business at G's Bees. I have at my home, I'm going to call it three and a half uh, boxes of bees. Uh, actually, I've got some larvae in, in two of them. One of them was a swarm that I caught here, so I'm going to call that half. I'm picking up a nuke this weekend and two more packages of bees uh, midweek, so actually the apiary is going to be a lot bigger than I expected the first year, but we're not giving up. So, going to hang out some bacon here. Going to see if we can get the bear to come visit to get his nose zapped. Because we're not giving up on the bees. Stay tuned. 